Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A and today I'm going to review something that I paid my own cash money with but I used Easy Pay off QVC. This is the Laura Geller for the Love of Chocolate 7 Piece Collection Kit. Two painless payments of 24 something or other and this baby was mine. Uh, very well packaged. It arrived in two days. Very nice. You get seven pieces. Two are brushes and then five are makeup items. So I'm actually going to go through them one by one. I got the fair color because the light is just a little bit dark on me. So this is the fair shade and this is the balance and brighten. Very hard to pull out of this contraption. Oh my god. They are welded into there. Uh, this is the Balance and Brighten, which I have right now as my foundation. And it's a very, very nice, it's a liquid that's baked on a terracotta um, tile in Italy. So she's famous for this. Um, I've had trouble with this in the past, but my skin wasn't in such great shape. So I well moisturized my face before I did this little demo today. This blush was a surprise. This is called Cherry Truffle. And it looked really dark, but on, if you sheer it on with the little brush they give you, which is very, I won't say flimsy, it's just a very soft brush, it really sheared on nicely and it's not too strong at all. I was very pleasantly surprised by the blush color. There is a six shadow eyeshadow collection, but I multi-purpose them. I used... Uh, these two shades as my contour today and I use these two shades as a highlight because it makes a nice little highlight and it's a very subtle and pretty glow so I thought that it was a really nice multitask kind of set the eyeshadows especially the darker one very very powdery a lot of fallout with that so you have to be a little careful uh, when you do put your dark, especially your darker shades on and my crease shade went all over underneath my eyes so I did have to fix that. But it's a really nice assortment of colors. There's a deep purple plum, a dark brown, um, this beautiful uh, matte light brown color and matte kind of mauvey color. Very very nice for a transition. This is the perfect autumn look and I'm really pleased with this. I'm actually not going to return it. I, I really like it. I still have one more payment to go to. <clears throat> the big surprise in here also was the lipstick, which I wasn't real sure of because I'm not a dark lipstick kind of gal, but this is the perfect autumn lipstick. This is called This lipstick is called Chocolate Raspberry, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, kind of a warm toned brown, perfect for autumn. And it just feels so hydrating on the mouth. Um, it's a cream color, it's not matte and it's not satiny. It's just a cream color, it's really beautiful. And it's pressed with a slight design on it, it looks almost like a honeycomb. I really like it, I like the the magnetic uh, thing I play with it in the in the demo and then the lip gloss this really sets it apart um, although it there is a lot of transfer with this lip gloss and you have to touch it up later I thought it really made the color beautiful and I left the scarf in my hair because I just wanted you to see the start to finish and you know my hair isn't the issue today <laughs> it's this and I really liked it I think I think it was 50 something dollars so really a good deal I thought that this was great because each of these items individually uh, would bring you up over um, I think $80 or $100 something like that but I, I really like the collection I wasn't that keen on the eye brush uh, it did work it was functional mine came crooked my brush if I can ever get it out of this oh my goodness I can't get it out of this thing. This, I had to pull this out and literally push things up. My brush came crooked. Can you see that? It's crooked. It was bent in the packaging, so it just, I guess it 
I don't think it was meant to be like that, but anyway, it came crooked, so it was difficult to work with. Um, it's really just a generic eyeshadow brush. I didn't see anything spectacular about it. Uh, her travel blush brush is kind of an interesting uh, thing. I've had one from an earlier set I got of hers, some summertime thing. It's very, very beautiful. It shears out the blushes nicely. It did work really well with the contour as well. Um, and yeah, it washes well. I, I really have no complaints about it. I think everything in this set was surprisingly good. Uh, I'm not sure I, I still I'm not sure I like that balance and brighten as a foundation. I think I still prefer my liquids. Um, it is undetectable on my skin to the point where I thought it was like Emperor's new clothes, you know, like <laughs> is it there? Um, but it does look better than my skin did in the beginning. So here's a little picture. It's demo time! And let's start off. Wow, what a difference, huh? Eek! Okay. Yep, I'm just showing you the insides. And then here it is. It looks all nice and pretty. And that stuff is really stuck in the molding. I'm going to use my own Kat Von D Locket Concealer first underneath just to do the extra attention areas because I know a powder foundation like this Balance and Brighten won't cover some of the. Uh, severely heavy darkness and stuff that I have so I'm just gonna kind of go a little bit extra uh, around my nose a couple of age spots just a couple areas where I, I know that it's extra coverage needed and I like to go around my mouth because I have tiny little lines around my mouth from drinking through a straw most of my life I wasn't a smoker but I have all those little lines okay Let's start it off here, and I'm trying to get the balance and brighten. This is in Fair. And Fair, I thought, might be too light, but it actually is a beautiful color on me. I'm trying to get the brush that comes with it out of the molding there. And that is a travel brush. Very soft. This is balance and brighten in Fair. And you can already see my forehead is transforming. I have been skeptical about Laura Geller in the past and I did a special on her brand at one point and it actually um, was not favorable. I think I used the light at that time and it turned me kind of grayish green. But the fair for some reason is working out nicely and I don't feel it on my face at all so I don't think it's there. But it is there and you can see it and I'll be showing you shortly the difference. It did take a long time though to build the layers. I built one thin layer on one side just so I could see the difference. And then I didn't really believe it so I kept building it. Kept building it. It's probably like six layers there. So I'm not sure. I don't believe it but you can see there is a difference in the two sides. But when you're putting it on you can't tell. There we go. And it is balancing nicely actually. Um, and it is making my complexion look clear, which is kind of an amazing thing. I probably should have done a little bit more in the decollete area. How do you like that fancy schmancy turban I'm wearing? Okay, I just didn't feel like doing my hair today and I it's too hot to wear a wig, so anyway, let's move on. I'm trying to get the blush out now. This is the blush and brighten. And the color is cherry truffle. It looks very, very dark in the pan, but with this light, soft brush, it really diffuses it nicely on the cheeks. It's a very, very um, pleasant, looks very versatile for people of all different skin tones to wear. I noticed the deep and the tan were already sold out in this, so this attracts um, a lot of folks. She has a good variety of colors uh, for skin tones. Oh, and this is the six pan uh, eyeshadow palette. I'm using it as a highlighter, the two lighter shades. This is particularly called Mocha. I don't know if she sells this individually or not, but it is a really nice assortment of shades. There's a matte cream, a uh, satin pink, a light brown, a dark brown, a plum, and a mauve color. 
and as you can see I am using the same brush and I am using the contour and it's not a contour it is a light brown crease color eyeshadow shade but it worked out pretty well I'm pretty impressed I think outside the box with these things and I wanted to do in a complete face using just this kit to see if I could the big challenge this is my crummy little brush it's the eyeshadow brush so and I'm gonna start the eyeshadow and that's the um, cream color it is a matte and I'm just doing it all the way from lid to under the brow with this color probably should have used a primer uh, probably would have brightened up the colors a little bit but even still it wound up coming out okay going into the crease color and it was really strong and uh, I get a C- minus for blending there not not really good but using a different brush I think I could have made this work a little bit better and a little bit smoother this brush is okay for packing onto the lid but it's not really okay as a crease brush as well and I wanted to just use the brushes that came in the uh, set here to see if I could do it putting that light pink which is a satin finish um, just under the brow and I'm wiping it off now on my little bun maker you can see I have little strands of uh, fallout on my cheek and now I'm using the dark brown shade in the corner and that uh, rendered a lot of fallout I was not a happy girl and I'm using now as an eyeliner just underneath the eye halfway in I'm using the purple plum also you can see all the fallout there on the left side <laughs> whoopsie I'm using the mauve as transition not bad. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with it. I wish I had blended out. Oh my god. Okay, I'm using the crease shade as a brow powder and I should have actually used a brow brush, you know, like a mascara wand to sort of brush out the brows to make them look a little bit more natural close up. It looks rather clownish. Using the purple just on the inside of the dark brown and now I'm taking the fallout off and going into mascara just using a Mally mascara. I know she's popular on these uh, QVC type shows, HSN kind of shows. Now I got this set on a one day special. I think it was like $54 or something and I think it's up to like $65 now. Um, it's a pretty good deal because you get the blush, uh, the foundation, the lipstick, the lip gloss, and the, the brush for your face and the brush for your eyes all for that price so if you break it down it is quite a good deal I'm not going to use the eye brush probably ever again and uh, probably will be putting it in the giveaway taking me forever to do this Mally mascara isn't my favorite using Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in pillow talk it looks exactly like my lip color so it's pretty fair to put that on and now the lipstick with a magnetic case. I just love it. Very, very um, luxurious feeling. It's beautiful lipstick and this color is chocolate raspberry. Isn't that pretty? For fall, you know, this is an autumn shade for sure. I sure wish I'd blend it out up there over on my eye there uh, on the left side, your left side. You know, there's that little ding sticking out. Okay lip gloss just in the center of my lips on the top and the bottom just in the center it does have a scent to it of mocha that is cafe au lait uh, lip gloss even though it looks kind of pink in the uh, in the package and there I am posing and primping for you for the love of chocolate Woohoo! this was a lot of fun uh, you know how you late night QVC sometimes and I'm such a set for stuff like this I'm always looking for something new and I like to try new things and, and help you out as well so that you can see whether or not you would want to invest in something like this or not right now during Labor Day uh, weekend they're having a sale I believe this is on sale um, for a better price like $53 or something and you can get the easy pay, two payments or whatever it is. So 
Anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful week and a wonderful long weekend. I am. It's relaxing. I'm getting stuff done. <laughs> Have a beautiful day, everybody. Take care. Toodles.